Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's Official Study Guide, version 7, 2025. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when we are working together. Today is our lesson number 19 and today we'll talk today we'll discuss the concept of rounding. How do we round numbers to a given decimal place? Whichever decimal place the question is asking us, what does it involve in the rounding? Let's take a look at it. So here in the first column we'll be given the quantity that we are supposed to round. In the second column we'll be told we have to round to the nearest which digits. And then here's the answer. Here's the first one. 73 73.281 and we are told to round it to nearest ones or unit digit. It is sometimes called some people call it one digit, some people call it unit digit. It's the same thing. So, unit digit simply means this digit right here. This is called this is called tens digit, tens with the s, tens. This is called unit digit or ones digits. It's called ones digit because that that digit tells us how many ones we have. For example, in 17 or 27 if you like, in 27, 27 is made up of seven ones. It has seven ones and two tens. That's what 27 is. 27 is made up of two tens and seven ones. That's why it's called ones digit. This digit right here. It tells us how many ones we have. This tells us how many tens we have. This digit tells us how many tens we have. We have two tens. Two times ten is twenty plus seven. Seven times one. This is called tens digit. It has we have two tens here, seven ones. This is this is the unit digit right here, or if you like the ones digit. This is what we are being asked around here. What can we do here? Let's take a look at it. So the rule is very straightforward. Here's the rule. It's very straightforward. You just draw a line in your mind from zero to one, and right in the middle you're going to have 0 0.5. Right in the middle you're going to have 0 0.5. If anything that ends in a point 0.5 or above it, we round up. If it's below point 0.5, anything that is below point 0.5, even if it's point 0.499999, if it's below 0.5, we round it down. That's all it is. There's nothing to it. There's absolutely nothing to it. So here, after the ones digit, this is what we have to round, but we look at the digit that comes after it. One, one, the digit that comes after the 3 is this digit right here, right here, this is called the 10th digit. It's only a 2, only a 2. If it were 5 or more, 73 would have become 74, but in this case it's going to remain 73. 73.281 when rounded to nearest 1's digit becomes 73. Let's look at the next one. How about 87.281? Six one one. There we go. Again, we're being asked to do the same thing. We're being asked to round it to the nearest ones or unit digit. This is the unit digit. The next digit that comes after it is this guy right here. Six. Six, of course, is five or more. It has to be five or more, well, which it is. Since it is five or more, we have to round this one up. 87.611 becomes 88. Let's do the next one. Now we're going to round it to 73.281. Let's round it to nearest tens digits. Tens with the S. Tens digit. The tens digit is this guy right here. This tells us how many tens we have. This is what we're being asked to round. Again, the rule is very straightforward. What is 
what is to the left of it? It's a 3. 3 is not equal to or more than 5. Had it, had it been equal to or more than 5, this 7 would have become 8. But since it's not, 73.281, when rounded to the nearest tens, becomes 70. Because that's the nearest 10. How about 87.611? Right here, 87.611. Again, we're going to round it to the nearest tens digit. The tens digit as it exists right now is this guy right here, 87. 87 is made up of 8 tens and 7 ones. Since it is 7, the next digit after it is 7, which is more than 5, 5 or more. This is going to become 87 when rounded 87.611 when rounded to the nearest tens becomes 90. Becomes 90. Let's do one more. Seventy-three point two eight one. We are being asked to round it to the nearest tenth. This time we are being asked to round it to the nearest tenth digit. Well, where is the tenth digit? This is the tenth digit. Let's talk about it for a second. Let's stop for a second and understand why it is called tenth digit. Let's write it down. 73.281. What is 73.281 made of? It is first of all made up of seven tenths which is why it's called tens digit because it tells us how many tens we have. It is made up of three ones. That's why it's called ones digit because it tells us how many ones we have. And then whatever comes after it, the very first one, this two that you see there is two tenth. That's what that is. Two over ten is point two. That's why it's called the tenth digit. Tenth with an H and TH. This, this eight that you see is eight over a hundred. Because 8 over 100 is going to give us 0 0.08. That's why it's called hundredth digit. This guy is called hundredth digit. I left no room for myself. Hun hundred. First you write hundred and then th. Hundredth digit. And finally we have a 1 which is 1 over a thousand. And that's why it's called. First you write down your thousand. Just write down thousand as normal. And then t. Th. Thousandth. Thousand because this digit tells us how many thousandths we have. We have one one thousandth here. We have eight one hundred, eight out of hundred, and two out of ten. This is the digit we're being asked to round. We are being asked to round this number to the nearest tenth digit. This is what we have to round. But what do you, what do you see? What do you see that comes after? Right after it to the to the right of it. Right after it is eight. Eight eight of course is more than more than 5. 5 or more is what we're looking for. Since it is more than 5, this 8 will turn this into a 3 and it will become 73.3. 73.281 when rounded to the nearest tenth becomes 73.3. Let's do the next one. 73.281 87.673. Again the same thing. We're being asked to round it to nearest tenth. This is a tenth digit. What comes after it is seven. Seven is the one that comes after it. Since seven is more than five, it's going to become 87.7. will become 87.7. Because you round this one up because the one, one that comes after it is five or more. Let's do the next one. 87.673. Now we're going to round it to nearest 100. 73.281. Well, first we have to locate where the hundredth digit is. So this is the tenth digit, tenth. 
and this is the hundredth digit. This is the one we are interested in rounding. This is the one we are interested in rounding because we are being asked to round this number to the nearest hundredth digit. But what comes after 8? What comes after 8 is 1. And 1 is of course not equal to or more than 5. Since it's not more than or equal to 5, nothing happens to this guy. It, eight, it just remains 8 and therefore the answer is 73.28. And we just drop that 1. It becomes 73.28. Let's take a look at one more. Eighty-seven point six two five. Eighty-seven point six two five. Where is the hundredth digit? Hundredth digit is right here. That's the one we have to round. That's the one we need to round. Well, what comes after it? What comes after it? Comes right after it is five. And five is of course equal to or more than five. Would you agree that five is either equal to or more than five? Of course it is. Therefore, this 2 will become 3. The answer will be, so we are rounding into 100 digit again. Answer will be 87.625 will become 63. Let's do one more. Again, 100 digit. Here's the number. 0 0.6467. 0 0.6467. Here's the 100 digit. What comes after 100th digit is a 6. And of course, 6 is, of course, 6 is equal to or more than 5. Equal to or more than 5. It has to be 5 or more, which it is. Which means, since this is more than, equal to or more than 5, we're going to round this up. It will become 0 0.65. 0 0.6467 when rounded the nearest 100 becomes simply becomes 65. Let's do one more. 5. This time we're going to round it to same number, same exact number 0 0.6467, but this time we're being asked to round it to the nearest thousands place thousands digits thousands digit or thousands place same thing now where is the thousand place this is the tenth this is the hundred ah that's the one this is the guy we are interested in thousands what comes after it is seven which is of course equal to more than five which means six will become seven and this seven will drop out zero point six four seven 0 0.6467 will become 0 0.67. This 6 will become 7 and this 7 is going to drop out. Let's do one more. Here's a tricky one. 7654. It's not actually tricky at all. I'm being I'm being stupid. It doesn't have a th next to it. It does not have this th. It's not a thousand. How can it be thousand? Because there are no digits after. Uh, there, are, there are no decimals after it. It's a thousand place. We are asked to round it to nearest thousand. Thousand digit is right here. Seven is the thousand digit. This is the unit. This is the tens digit. This is the hundred digits, and that's the thousand unit. This is what we're being asked to round. But what comes before it is six. Of course, 6 is equal to or more than 5. Would you agree? Since this is equal to or more than 5, in other words, in other words, since 7,654 is more than 7,500, more than or equal to 7,500, we are towards 8,000 scale. So when you round it, it becomes 8,000. That's all. And if you want to see this part in the picture, I'm going to show it to you. Very, I can very, very easily show it to you with the pictorial aid, visual aid. So here's the scale. Here's 7,000, and here is 8,000. Right in the middle is 7,500. 
So anything that's 7,500 or more, it has to be rounded up. If anything that is less than 7,500, that's rounded down. Here we have 7,654. Since 7,654 is more than 7,500, is to the right of the scale, when you round it, it becomes 8,000. Because that is the nearest thousand. Because it's going to fall right here, somewhere here, 7,654. And you can clearly see, as you can clearly see, that this distance, as you can clearly see, this distance is much less than this distance from here to here. That's the nearest thousand. That was, that was it. That's all I have. There are no problems today. That's all we're going to do. Tomorrow also, we're going to work on the same concept. We are on page number 111, as I, as I said before. And on page number 111, there are some problems at the bottom of the page where they're also, ask, ask, where they're also asking us to round things. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Alright? Fine.